Blessed be the rock of my salvation, the Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. This is Brother Rudd coming uh, again with a, another word. Um, I just, a word has been on my heart. It's been heavy on my heart uh, since uh, this thing has been going on. I've been thinking about a lot of people, and then God has really just was on my heart for the people. So there's really like a message and a decree for action for us believers to really call, call to action, step up and do something. But um, have you ever been driving to a gas station or a grocery store and you see someone asking for change and you're pulling up and you're like, man, I know they're going to ask me if I have some change. And uh, I don't know, if you're like me, I'm sorry, sometimes man, I can get into my own ways and I can start prejudging a person. Oh, that person looks like they're uh, probably on something or yeah, I'm not going to give to something that they're on and so they can just buy a drink or something. Yeah, and then you already kind of made up your mind. And then that person comes up to you and asks you for some change. You're like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to change. Uh, God bless you. Then the Lord just convicts you in a way, in a sense. I'm, uh, not all the time because sometimes it's not led to, but... There are times that I've been convicted, and <clears throat> the reason probably is because we are created in the God's image, and His Spirit is in us, and God is really adamant about taking care of the needy and the poor. And see, he, see, he talks about it throughout His Word. So we're going to go to De Deuteronomy chapter 15, verses 7 through 8, and then 10, 11. We're going to see what the Word says about giving to the poor and taking care of the needy. Um, let's go there. And I'm going to be coming out of the New Living Translation Bible. And it says, But if there are any poor Israelites in your towns when you arrive in the land, the Lord your God is giving you. Do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward them. Instead, be generous and lend them whatever they need. Do not be mean-spirited and refuse someone a loan because the year for your canceling, I'm actually reading verse 9. Uh, do not be mean-spirited and refuse someone a loan because the year for canceling, debts is closed at hand. Let's go to verse 10. But give generously to the poor, not grudgingly, for the Lord your God will bless you in everything you do and there will always be someone in the land who are poor. That is why I am commanding you to share freely with the poor and with other Israelites in need. Uh, these, scripture, these scriptures speak volumes to me because just think about it in the times that we're living in right now for all those people who have lost their jobs and all those who are <clears throat> without and they can't just go to the grocery store and stock up and all these things. So my heart is heavy for these people out there. And then I was just thinking, and then God was taking me to these scriptures, and I'm like, wow, I'm convicted. Uh, God has really commanded us to go and pretty much help those who are in need. We're supposed to take care of those who are in need, the poor, the needy. Um, it's in God's word. And, and it also says in his word that when you do this, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. You don't got to boast and brag when you go and help someone or anything of that nature. All you got to do, what you do in secret, God will reward you openly. That's what it says in his word. And I got a quick testimony, something that was shared with me um, from one of my coworkers. And it's, not, it's a testimony on behalf of someone else. So my coworker, she, her mom owns a business and they were getting ready to close down their business because of this pandemic that we're in and things that we're going through. They just couldn't hold up with the demand, so they're getting ready to close their business. And there was a gentleman that came in and was asking, what are you guys doing? And they told him, hey, uh, you know, 
we're shutting down because you know we're not going to be able to keep this business open with everything that's going on. And out of the blue, he said, "Well, if you believe in God like I do, just trust in Him. Just stay open, and then I'm gonna give you this money. I don't know how much it was. I don't know. They didn't discuss it with me. However, I just know that they said that they really started crying because." They just didn't understand why. And those who believe know why, but they just didn't understand why. And so, as God was using this young man, they were just like, uh, well, you know that I can't pay you back. This is, you know, I can't do that, but I really appreciate it. He said, no, please, take this money. I just believe in God, and I don't know why God sent me here, but I would like to bless you guys and keep you know what I'm saying? Your guys' business open. He believes in small businesses and stuff like that. And so they were just in awe. Oh, they were just in shock. They were in disbelief, so to speak, that this was happening. But I just thank God for the man that he was using because, see, what happens is sometimes we don't know what God is doing. Like, their hearts could have been, like, hard sand, right? You know, when you're trying to plant a seed in some hearts and it's just really not going to work so I, I believe that God was what he was doing was soften up, softening up that sand and making it turning it into soil pretty much their hearts and when when, when, you, when he did that now it was so much easier for that man to come to them and be able to minister to them and share the word because he, he blessed them now I believe that God used him to bless him first. Because sometimes people won't believe when you just come at them and just say, hey, do you believe in God and this and that? Well, well sometimes we gotta have action behind our words. Faith without works is dead, right? So I just thank God for that testimony. It touched me and I was just grateful because you know, that's an example of how we need to go about things and just bless. I'm not saying that we have to go and bless somebody and give them money and keep their business open or anything, but it's just those very little things of somebody's hungry. We should ought to be there to feed them. If somebody is in need of a coat when it's cold outside, we shall be able to, to go and give them a coat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just really want to give a call to action for those believers out there that believe in the word of God. And, it, and he talks about this throughout the word. This is only a little bit that I'm talking about in Deuteronomy, but throughout the word, he continuously talks about taking care of the needy and the poor. And then he also says in the word that if you love me, you will take care of my people. So that to me speaks volumes. So my heart is heavy. So I really would like to make a call to action to us believers out there to really start thinking about those who are in need and let's find ways to bless those people out there who are in need, are in need. I, I love this church because that very aspect of God, we took upon that aspect of God right there, which is <clears throat> there's been times where we have blessed many people out there with care packages, we, the backpack giveaways, and the, <laughs> the food drives and things like that. The, did I say backpack giveaways? Yeah, backpack giveaways. And I can't remember the thing that we do for Thanksgiving. Bless others. Man, it's just a, it's a testimony for me because I love the way this church are being led by God and taking care of our community and things of such that makes it so much easier for God to have his way on to prick the hearts of the people and to bring them in. You know what I'm saying? So think about sometimes even when you're trying to minister. Sometimes uh, it takes action like that. It, sometimes it takes that effort to, to really to get somebody to understand who God truly is. We need to have action behind. So I just want to lift up a prayer real quick. And I hope that you've been blessed. And I hope that you will think of the people. Think about God's people. Think about the poor. Think about the needy. In the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to lift you up. I give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise, Lord God, just for the, the 
word, Lord God, that you have put in me. I pray that somebody is blessed in the name of Jesus from the word. Not only blessed, Lord God, but I pray that we will also too, Lord God, be not only hearers of the word, but doers of the word. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would just <clears throat> touch us and use us, Lord God, to reach out to those who are in need, Lord God, just like the, the Church of Acts in the name of Jesus. They went without because they all had each other's back and they looked out for each other, Lord God. I pray that you just give that same mind and that same heart, Lord God, to really look after your people, Lord God, because it's pleasing unto you, Lord God, and you will reward us greatly, Lord God. Not that we're looking for a reward, God, but that's just the blessings that come with it, Lord God. And so we just want to thank you for the blessings that come with doing your work, Lord God, but it's more of a blessing when we see others, Lord God, uplifted, Lord God. We don't know, Lord God, what, what we can do to people, Lord God, but with just that smile that we gave them or that word of encouragement, Lord God, or maybe even some money for some food, Lord God, or food itself, Lord God. I just ask that you would just touch us in a way, Lord God, that we can find ways to think about how to bless others. In this time now that we're even going through right now, Lord God, there's many people out there struggling, Lord God. There's a heaviness out there, Lord God, because of this pandemic. And I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would just heal the land, Lord God. And use us, Lord God. Use us, Lord God. And let us be open, Lord God. Open up our ears that we may hear your voice, Lord God. And have spirit of discernment to, uh, to be led to go to those, Lord God, who are in need and to help them. So we bless your name, Lord God. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.